A new plan could soon allow Austin to address its rape kit backlog five times faster. Right now, there are 1,300 kits that have tested positive for DNA but haven't been processed through the FBI's matching system. KXAN investigator Kevin Clark asked police how long local victims may have to wait. I can't begin to explain how traumatic waiting is. But for two years, Marina Garrett waited for her rape kit to be tested, only to be told there was no DNA found. I just knew in my body that that wasn't right. I knew that there was enough evidence. I knew what happened to me. But there are still 1,300 kits from Austin that did test positive for DNA. They haven't been run through the FBI's combined DNA index system to try and find a match. Just simply testing it is the first step, that it's not clearing the backlog. When you say we've cleared the backlog, the public doesn't know that all of these women are still waiting. It's been a challenge for years. At the current um, pace of only 30 reviews per month, and you have 1,300 reviews to do, you do the math, that's a very long period of time. We're hoping to shorten that significantly. In the next couple of weeks, APD will present to City Council a plan to address the backlog, a DOJ-funded initiative that will add three new vendors to process these kits through CODIS. Dr. Dana Cadavy with APD's Forensic Science Bureau says it could all be done by September of next year. There's very few laboratories that can do that service, so we just wanted to be able to provide a little extra bandwidth for that. On Thursday, council members passed agreements with two different forensic science centers that will process new kits where DNA is found. APD tells me with this additional help, the kits could be processed five times faster. Those cases we are trying to make sure don't experience the same situation that we've had in the past that led to the DNA lab closing and led to this huge backlog. Now, the backlog in Austin of untested rape kits ballooned to more than 4,000 cases in 2016. That's when APD shuttered its DNA crime lab. It closed for good after an audit found serious and longstanding problems with the lab's testing. Sydney? All right, Kevin, thank you. This is a problem across the state, and lawmakers have been trying to get a handle on it since 2011. That's when former State Senator Wendy Davis passed legislation requiring an audit that revealed at least 18,000 untested rape kits in Texas. In 2013, the legislature set aside $11 million to address the issue, but thousands more rape kits are created each year. In 2017, lawmakers set aside millions more for testing and a statewide tracking system for all new rape kits. That's slated to go online in September. And just days ago, a bill passed the House that would give time limits for every step of the rape kit testing process.